Hey, what's up everyone? Glock9 here and welcome to PAL World. This is a new open world survival crafting game set to release on Steam in just a few days, January 19th. So first of all, thank you to Pocket Pair for granting me early access to this game. Now I gotta admit, when they first reached out to me and I checked the game out, I was like, I don't know if this is my type of game. But then I saw a clip of one of the characters wielding a machine gun and I said, this is my type of game. Cute little creatures and machine guns, sign me up. But seriously, I looked at it a little bit further and I got Ark meets Pokemon vibes. Now, I never really got into Pokemon. I never watched any of the shows or played any of the games, but I'm not an idiot. I do see things. And I guess capturing cute little creatures in a ball is not copyrighted because that's exactly what we do in this game. So there's going to be some Pokemon fans that are going to call this a ripoff, but that's silly. If you're a fan of Pokemon and you like survival games, you should love this game. Here's a look at the map just to give you an idea of how big it is. Some of the areas are already opened. Most of it's blacked out. We start here near the Plateau of Beginnings, which is that statue right there. We need to go activate it. And that will unlock fast travel to this particular statue. And there are a bunch of these all around the map. Now, I did play this game for a bit just to get the hang of it. So I'm not fumbling around too much and I can better showcase it to you guys. And we're going to work our way through the tutorial. See if we could possibly even make it to our first boss fight. How you doing, lady? A castaway. Been a while since someone who didn't stink of pals washed up here. The island is a living hell. Blah, blah, blah. You need to be safe. Here's some wood. Oh, thanks. You got a pump shotgun and you give me some wood. Don't even offer me any of your soup. Thanks a lot, lady. Look, there's wood right on the floor. I can just pick it up. <laughs> uh, we're level two now. We've got a stat point. Let's throw that into HP. We got some tech points as well. Seven of them. The, these basic items are already unlocked, so we're going to unlock the PAL box, which is a facility for storing captured PALs. We'll get more into that later. The PAL sphere, which is what we use to capture PALs, campfire, wooden chest, and the wooden structure set. Uh, we don't need to unlock the repair bench right now, so we won't worry about that. Uh, the tutorial wants us to open up the options menu and check out the survival guide. This is where you can learn all about the game, the game objective. Uncover the secrets of this mysterious land while taking on the unknown forces who stand in your way. Defeat bosses that lay claim to each region's tower as you try to uncover the truth behind the origin of PALS. You can check out crafting, technology, and all the things, which it might seem a little overwhelming, but it's not. Everything's pretty simple and intuitive. Uh, next thing we got to do is put down a primitive workbench. We're just going to put it down up here. In case we ever want to fast travel up to the top of this mountain again, we'll have a workbench right here that we can use. Now you got to put it down and then build it, which takes time. Building everything takes time, but when you have pals around, they will help you build it and it will build faster. Same thing with items. Let's craft a wooden club and then we have to actually craft it. But again, if you have pals around, they'll help you and the crafting time will increase. I mean, decrease. It'll be faster. Come on. You know what I'm saying. Stop breaking my balls. Let's go beat the living shit out of that chicken. Oh, you mad chicken? You want to fight back? Well, too bad you can't because you're weak. We got an egg and some uh, raw meat from that. And the dead body just kind of lays around. And you can kick it like your Pele. It's pretty fun. It's like a little mini game. We can kick it off of the mountain. Let's do that. Why are you wasting your time doing this? It's pointless. Shut up. I'm having fun. Look how fun that is. Let's grab some of these berries. We're also getting berry seeds, which we'll use later to plant berries once we get a uh, planter box crafted. So definitely hold on to the seeds because you're going to need them. And you're going to need a lot of berries to feed your pals. Uh, let's keep grabbing uh, wood and stone too. We'll make an axe and a pickaxe at the workbench we put down before we continue heading down the mountain. We also have to craft a PAL sphere so we can start capturing PALs. That's what it's all about. And I did pick up a PAL fragment, which you need to craft those spheres. Um, only one, though, so we'll have to get more of that stuff. Let's uh, get a pickaxe crafted. Bam. Acquire it. And, uh, oh, we need more stone for the axe, but we can craft a PAL sphere, just one of them right now. There we go. Let's go mine some stone so we can get the stone axe crafted. 
We will get some PAL fragments from mining the stone as well. The more efficient way to get that shit is to just mine the ore, which is that blue ore right there. We'll do that on the way down the mountain. Okay, we got some ore from that as well, which is basically metal. We also leveled up. Let's get a point into stamina. Let's go over to the tech tree. We got seven more tech points to spend. Let's open up the bow and the arrows and the shoddy bed and the straw pal bed. All your pals are going to need a bed. Otherwise, they get pissed off and the cloth. All right. Let's go make that axe. Now, the tutorial is going to want us to capture five of these lambs. So let's start doing that now. You just knock them around a bit. The more damage they take, the higher the capture rate will be. Probably could have hit that guy one more time, but that's fine. That should get him. Oh, no, it didn't get him. Son of a bitch. Here we go. Oh, shit. I have no more pal spheres. I crafted one, but I forgot to acquire it. Ow, oh, you little bastard. All right. We got to get back to that workbench. Uh, when you craft something, you then have to take it. Otherwise, it remains in the workbench. Got it. Uh, and now, if I get some wood, I can craft more of them. So, let's do that. That should do it. 100%. Okay, that one is mine. And that one is a level one, so I'm going to skip that one. I saw some more down here. Let's go check them out. And now that I captured that little guy, I can release him and he'll fight alongside me, but no need for that. What are you? Level one? Eh, whatever. These are just going to be worker bees. They're just going to help us around the base. We're not going to use these lambs to fight, so... Doesn't really matter, I guess. And they'll level up by doing work at the base. Speaking of which, we just leveled up. Let's uh, use our stat point. We'll put this one into weight. Let's go over to the tech tree again. We've got seven more points to spend. Let's unlock the spear and the common shield and the cloth outfit. And that's it for now. All right, we need two more of these lambs. Ninety-four percent is good enough for me. I see a chest over there. Let's go get it, see what's inside. Gold coins, a pal sphere, and medical supplies. Nice. Uh, let's eat. We are getting hungry. We can feed our pals too, but they're all full. We are hungry. Let's uh, get that food bar up. That's all there is, is a hunger bar. There's no thirst bar, so it's just your health and your hunger is what you got to keep up with. Uh, next step in the tutorial is build a pal box where we want to build our base. So that's what we're off to do now is set down a pal box and start building our base. And I know where I want to do that. If we head down the mountain a bit further, there will be another uh, statue that we can activate for fast travel. And right around that area is where we will build our base. Oh, I'm eating chicken nuggies tonight. Got a pal sphere just laying on the floor right here. This mountain is just full of resources. Speaking of which, we should probably grab some. Yeah, let's get some more pal fragments. And the way I see it is we will build our base at the bottom of the mountain near the other fast travel statue. And then whenever we want to, we can fast travel to the top of the mountain, work our way back down it, harvesting all these resources whenever we need them. Okay, got another fast travel point unlocked. And we also get a tech point from activating that. And this is about as far as I've gone when I was playing earlier. So I am curious as to what's down that way. There's the tower where we'll have our first boss fight. We are nowhere near ready for that, though. Got a flyer up in the air, all sorts of cool shit going on. But we need to stay focused. Let's check this chest first. Ooh, a whole bunch of coin and some bread. And now we need to get a base built. Because it's going to be nightfall. We need a place to sleep. I think this area is going to be perfect. 
There's the pal box. Uh, we can open it up. We can summon one pal to the base right now because it's only a level one, but we'll level it up and we'll be able to bring more pals to the base. We can store the other ones inside the box for now instead of having them in our party. Now, to level it up, we need to build a wooden chest that will complete the level one missions. But before we do that, let's put some foundations down. There's a storage box. Now our pal should come help us build it. Where you at, pal? There we go. Damn, nice. Now you could rename your pals too, but I'm not going to get into that right now. Uh, let's store some shit in here. With the bed, we can sleep through the night. Sleeping also regenerates your health. Uh, and let our pal build that bed while we upgrade the pal box bam now we can summon another pal to the base and they'll build my bed for me that's right build my bed bitches thank you okay uh the bed won't work on without a roof so we need to put a roof over the bed well it's coming along yeah, they built my campfire. Good job, pals. They're off to gather resources for me. Hey, what are you doing around my base? Wandering merchant? Oh, that's cool. How you doing? Good. What do you got? Oh, schematics. All sorts of stuff, huh? Well, stick around. I might want to buy some stuff from you at some point. Bam, look at that. We got ourselves a cozy little home. Oh, nothing like frying up lamb kebabs while the lambs are outside hard at work for me. Hey, you got to let them know, you know, do a good job or you become a kebab. Let's get this workbench built. And then we can use this to craft some cloth. No, just two for now. And then we can use the cloth to make some decent clothes so we are presentable. And merchant's still hanging around. That's good. There we go. Cloth outfit. Taking some time to craft this thing. My pals are stressed. I, I haven't uh, I haven't made them beds yet. I'll do that in the morning. Oh yeah, looking sharp. The blue matches my uh, beard. All right, let's put another point into HP. And then with the tech points, let's unlock the feed box. We're going to have to put the, uh, one of those down to keep the pals fed. And then uh, I guess let's unlock the fire bow and the fire arrow. All right, that's enough for one day. What's that? Berry seeds, whatever. Let's upgrade the base again. Okay, now we got to build a feed box and three pal beds. Speaking of pals, oh, there they are. Gathering resources. Let's summon a third one to the base now. And we got to build them beds. Let's go, little buddies. Come build your beds. Here they come. All right, you guys work on that one. I'll place a couple more down. Now the feed box. Where are you at, fuckers? Here they come. Thank you. Get some berries in there so they can eat whenever they want. Gonna upgrade this to level four. We already built the campfire. We need to build the berry plantation and deploy a fourth pal to the base. Well, that's an easy one. Berry plantation, here it is. Okay. We need more stone.
that's a good spot for it. Just got to get this tree out of the way. It's nice that they let you place things down even if there is a tree in the way. We'll just chop it down while the lambs build the berry plantation. Bam, look at that. Teamwork. It's taking me longer to chop this damn tree. I should let the lambs chop it down. I need to find out what pals chop trees because the lambs definitely don't. Man, seeding this is taking a while. Why aren't those little shits helping me? Oh, there they are. Yeah, just walking away while Daddy Glock does all the work. Fucking kids. Man, I gotta find out what pals tend to crops because the lambs definitely don't. Bam, we are at base level five. We need to build a pal gear workbench and a statue of power. We can't unlock either of those things yet. We need to level up first. Let's build this fifth pal a bed. This is the repair workbench. My axe is damaged. So instead of crafting another one, I'm going to build this thing and repair my axe. Thanks for the help, buddies. I mean, pals. Um. There we go. You just gonna stand there? I need to find out what pals harvest stone because the lambs definitely don't. Put some storage outside the base because they're constantly gathering resources, so now they can just dump them right in here. Let's get some weapons made. Do the spear. Let's do the bow. Don't go anywhere, little buddy. I got more stuff to craft. You just stay right there. Let's make a bunch of arrows now. We'll do 10. That'll translate to 30 arrows. Okay, let's make the common shield now. This is not a shield you hold in your hand. This is a shield you equip, and it works basically like armor. Okay, that should have auto-equipped. It did. And you can see the blue bar filling up above my health. We're going to head this way and go exploring. And we're also going to try and capture some new pals. Because I noticed there were some recipes in the tech tree that were question marks. And they said to unlock them, you have to capture a specific pal. It didn't say which ones. So basically, we want to just capture as many different ones as we can. Bam. Got a cat. Hey there. What's up? You're a new face. Don't tell me. An outsider? Yeah, how'd you guess? Now that you're on the island, try capturing some pals. You get extra XP for capturing ten of the same kind, you know? No, I didn't know. All right. Uh, what do you got for me? Anything? Five pal fragments. Well, better than nothing, I guess. Let's grab this green thing. Collect and offer them to a statue of power to improve your ability to capture pals. Cool. Well, we're going to craft a statue of power soon. Castaway's journal. I'm not reading that. Let's set up here. The tower is this way. Man, I really thought we were going to be able to fast track to a boss fight, but I don't think that's going to happen. I think it's going to be a while until we can fight our first boss. Oh, that got his attention. There's a tip for you. If you want to get the attention of a pal, shoot them in the head with an arrow. Oh, my goodness. That one's firing icicles at me. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to kill that one. The capture rate was only at 48%, though. We need to upgrade our capture ability. It's in the 70s. Come on. 80s? Yes. Got a penguin. This looks like another type of cat. I'm gonna see if I can get it. 80? 90? There we go. Bam. A cremis. Well, I'm gonna keep heading towards the tower, because according to the compass, there is another statue that way that we can activate for fast travel. And then we can just fast travel back to the base. Uh, one more. That'll do it. Come on, give me the Firefox. Or, 
Fox Parks. They can't... It's a Firefox. It's a fox that was on fire. They just can't call it Firefox because then they'll get sued. There's another one. But we gotta move. It's getting late. Got another cat. Come on. Here we go. Rain Syndicate Tower. Okay, let's activate this statue and we can fast travel back home. But before we do that, let's just have a peek up these stairs and see what's going on. Oh, shit. There's gunfire over there. I don't have many arrows left, but we must investigate. Give me that. Let's actually just grab this Firefox real quick. Oh boy. Bullets are flying. I've got no arrows left. That should do it. Come on. Give me the Firefox. Yes. All right. Oh, I gotta go. I'll come back with a pal that can fight and uh, some more arrows. And we'll see if we can maybe nab one of their guns. Oh, that worked out. Let's drop these pals into the pal box. I mean, we could try replacing some of the lambs with these other creatures and see what happens. I got a couple of cats now. Oh, look, they're, they're harvesting the berries. All right, so the cats will take care of the farming. What's the penguin going to do? And what's this thing going to do? Anything? This thing is useless, I feel. The cats are just getting right to work. I like that. Or are they all going to sleep? Well, it's late. I don't blame them. I'm going to sleep, too. All right. We got some points to spend here. Let's bump up stamina and HP. And then over here, let's unlock the gear workbench for the pals and the statue of power. And we got a whole bunch more tech points left, but I'm not sure what we should unlock next. So I'm not going to unlock anything just yet. We need wood and cloth. Well, we can make the cloth right here. And then we'll have to go harvest some more wood. Now, what can we do with this? No usable recipes. Well, nothing, apparently, yet. Got our Statue of Power. Enhance player stats. Enhance pals. Capture power. Yes. Enhance, baby. Well, I have zero left of those green things. We need four more if we want to do that again. Enhance pals. I've got nothing that I can enhance pals with yet. But, at least we got it. Now, let's upgrade the base. Now we gotta build a crusher, a stone pit, and a logging site. What can we unlock now? Logging site, stone pit, and uh, the crusher. We're gonna have to level up again to open that thing. I made a bunch more arrows. I've got a Firefox with me. We are going back here and we're going to see if we can take out those syndicate thugs and maybe get a gun from them. Attack Firefox. Oh, I'm hitting the spikes. Well, that one's dead. The penguins are fighting too. This is great. That one's dead. And that one's stuck in the cage. It's locked. Can we open it? Hold release pal. You're free, pal. And you are dead, buddy. 
Oh, whatever. I'll just stab him. I can't even get in there. Oh, I can reach him like this. Oh, that was an easy one. Uh, I picked up ammo. But not a gun, unfortunately. Here's some more ammo. Ooh, assault rifle ammo. Well, I want the assault rifle. I don't see anything around I can loot. There was nothing marked on the map for this uh, particular base. Oh, shit. Good job, Firefox. Now, come here. All right, well, we got some ammo from these thugs, but like I said, no firearm, unfortunately. It's worth a try. Tower of Rain Syndicate. Time limit, 10 minutes. Well, we are nowhere near ready for a boss battle, so we'll have to come back at a later time. I'm assuming this stone pit will be a place where the pals can harvest stone from. Where is the... The Firefox at the base is unconscious and incapacitated. It says take it to the PAL box. I don't see the thing. Uh, let's just drop it in here. There we go. And it'll take 10 minutes for that thing to uh, basically come back to life. You guys working on the stone pick? Good job. There it is. Hold to work. Oh, the cats will work here. And they can harvest up to 9,999 stone. Seems to be taking a while. It's faster to harvest regular stone, but that's convenient because it's right here at the base. Let's get some wood and build the logging site. There we go, but I haven't found a pal that will harvest wood yet. So, none of them want to chop trees. We have to figure out which one it is that will do that for us. We uh, definitely don't want to mess with this mammoth. That thing will one-hit kill us, but there's a flyer up here. And uh, I'd like to try and capture that thing. There's a couple of them here. I just want to pick a fight with one of you guys. This could be a huge mistake. The Nightwing might kill us, but even if it does, we're real close to home, so we can just respawn at the base and pick up all our stuff. No big deal. Uh, run. Oh, it hit the Mammoth. Is the Mammoth going to fight the Nightwing now? I hope not. Oh, shit. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, I got this thing killed real fast. That's my bad. Yep, gonna let Firefox fight with us here, because this deer is uh, pretty tough. Oh, shit. <laughs> Am I you okay, Firefox? Oh, look at that. They call me Jumpin' Jim. All right. Don't kill it. Don't kill it. Oh, come on. Come on, baby. Yes, keep going. Give me that deer. All right. We got an e e the deer. e deer deer. What kind of name is that? We got to put the fox in the box. So it could put socks on its cocks. No, so it could regenerate. And let's bring the deer into the base. What are you going to do? Go to sleep? Really? Oh, it's got a major injury. Um, I think we got to put the deer in the box so it can uh, heal up. Right, is that good enough? What are you, where are you off to? Oh, to get wood? Nice. All right. Finally got ourselves a pal that can harvest wood for us. Might have to go get it some Advil. It's going to have one hell of a headache. Um... Oh, there it is, the deer saddle. Okay, so we got to get to level 12 before we can unlock the deer saddle, and then I'm sure we use the PAL gear workbench to craft it, and then we'll be able to ride that deer. I put everything I have into storage, so I've got nothing on me, and I'm going to punch this mammoth. Because I want to show you guys a quick little... I guess you can call it an exploit. 
way to travel around the map quickly, and that is to die. Come on, man. What are you doing? Kill me, you piece of shit. Don't run away. Come on, I'm trying to do something here. There you go. Let me have it. So now, when you go to respawn, you can actually choose from areas all over the world here. I've never been to these areas before. They're just open. Look at the amount of resources and pal population here. Let's go there. And we spawn on this island with nothing, of course. And that's just what happens when you die. You spawn back in with nothing. And I don't see a statue close by. I did this... When I first started playing, I died and I respawned on an island and there was a, a fast travel statue like as soon as I spawned in. I don't see one here. I do see one of these though. I'm gonna go grab that. But now if we can just find a statue that we can activate, a fast travel statue, then we can fast travel back to our base and we can always come back to this island via fast travel whenever we want. So that's kind of a quick way to open up fast travel to different islands, and that is to die and respawn there. Are you a castaway? Yeah, blah, blah, blah. You got anything for me or not? No? Well, fuck you then. Uh, of course, the only problem with dying and respawning at one of these islands is you spawn in with nothing on you, so... That's just what you got to deal with. I see one way up there. So let's go activate it. And then we can go back home. Oh, what is happening over here? A little fight? With dire wolves? Yeah, I'll avoid that. All right, guys, I'm going to end this video here. I hope you got a good idea of what this game is about. I'm really enjoying it. I'm going to continue playing it and go through the grinding of leveling up and getting prepared for this boss fight. And then I will do another video where I bring you that boss fight so you can check it out and see what that is all about. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. You guys are the best. You can follow me on Instagram or Twitter if you want. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Pal World and I will catch you guys in the next video.